Hello everyone. In this session, we'll start looking at building the Browse Orders application from scratch. So we'll be developing this application locally and not on SAP Web IDE. So there are some prerequisites for this. Uh, one is we need an IDE and we'll be using Visual Studio Code for this. So if you don't have Visual Studio Code, go to code.visualstudio.com and uh, based on your operating system, download the uh, files and install it for Visual Studio Code. And we also need to have Node.js installed on your machine. Uh, the latest version is 12.17.0, so go ahead and install that. And uh, along with the Node.js, NPM is also installed for you. Uh, so make sure you have both of this installed. And once you have both of this installed, uh, then we need to install the UI5 command line interface. Now to do this, uh, you would install, you would run this command NPM I to install dash G in global, so we are going to install it globally, at UI5 slash CLI. So this is the command that you would run to install the uh, UI5 command line interface on your machine. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to be installing it. Uh, so the version that I have is UI5. You can check what version you have by typing in UI5 versions. Uh, so this, uh, the version that I have is 2.2.5. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago, it was like, I think I had 2.0.1 or something like that. Uh, today when I installed, uh, it is 2.2.5. So obviously there is a lot of work being done on this UI5 CLI. Uh, so it is a really hot uh, thing in this um, SAP UI5 development at this stage. Uh, so make sure you have the UI5 CLI installed. Um, so we have it installed, we have Visual Studio ins installed, and we have Node.js installed as well. Now, um, if you have uh, used SAP Web IDE, Web, Web IDE provides a lot of templates for creating your application, and that is the recommended approach uh, from SAP as well. So for our browse orders application, we are going to be using a template, but the problem is we are going to be doing a local development. Uh, so on a local development, SAP provides uh, the Yeoman template templates. So it's not as fancy as the SAP Web IDE templates. So it's a slightly primitive uh, command line based, but it'll do the job for us. Uh, so for that, we also need to make sure we have the templates installed. Uh, so I'm going to run the npm command again, npm i to install dash g on a global level, global space, yo type in yo at SAP UI5 slash generator slash SAP UI5 dash templates. So I already have this installed, so I'm not going to be running it again. Uh, but this is the command that you would need to run. What I'll do is uh, I'll create like a test text document, uh, text uh, file with all these commands so, uh, so you can follow along as well. Uh, so make sure you install these templates and uh, you can check if uh, the Yeoman is installed uh, correctly by typing in yo dash dash generators. Uh, so all these commands will, I'll put them in a text file so uh, you can follow along easily. Uh, so right now, what we've done is we've installed Visual Studio Code, Node.js, and then we ran the UI5 CLI. We installed UI5 CLI. We made sure that the UI5 CLI is uh, uh, ready by typing in UI5 versions. Then we installed the templates, and then we made sure the templates are available as well. So right now, as you can see, we only have three templates. So that's fine, because we are going to use uh, number two, the master detail template. Again, like I said, uh, SAP Web IDE provides a fancier template, uh, but this is uh, slightly primitive, but it'll do the job for us. Uh, so let's go ahead and create the directory called demo orders for our application. So I've created a application. Uh, folder called demo orders and I will CD into this CD into demo orders and now I want to run this template generator so the way I run it is uh, yo at SAP UI 5 slash SAP UI 5 dash templates so I run this and this should start my template generator 
and it will ask me a few questions. I can go ahead and answer that. Provide the module name for us. Uh, demo orders is good, so I'll go with demo orders. Uh, namespace, I will go with com.sap. And then it's asking me which template I want to use. And I can use my arrow key. And I want to use the master detail application. So I use master detail. Uh, the title for this uh, thing, I will use demo orders. That is good. And description, yes, I'll use browse orders demo application. Now, uh, I believe it's uh, pre-filled because I used it uh, before. Uh, but if in your case, you would have to type in the description. Uh, standalone app is what we want to use. OK, so I'll choose standalone app. Uh, use the arrow key to choose the standalone app. Now, service space URI. Um, so I'm going to use the Northwind database. So uh, let me make sure it is the right URL. OK, so this is the Northwind database uh, URL or data service that I want to use. And uh, go ahead and type it in. I'll post this URL as well. Did I type it in? Let me, maybe I'll have to type it in. HTTPS colon slash slash services dot o data dot org slash v2 slash north wind slash north wind dot svc and uh, for the data source url this is the value that you'll see in the manifest.json slash v2 is good for me now if i look in this uh, in this uh, odata service we are going to target the orders app, uh, entity set uh, so there should be a orders entity set, I believe. So let me type in orders. Yeah, so there is the orders entity set. So we'll use the orders and the order ID for our uh, uh, key. So let's use orders. And object collection, order ID. An object title also will use order ID. And then the rest of the fields uh, will just uh, hit enter to go through the thing. OK, so it's created the application for us. So let's open it in Visual Studio Code. So we can type in code and dot. And this will open up Visual Studio Code in that folder. So we already have the application ready on our, uh, on our local development. So if I look at my UI5 YAML, uh, there is also a custom task for custom middleware. So we it already takes care of the proxying for this uh, OData service. That's nice. And then if I look in package.json, uh, um, we have the build and the start and so on. So we can right away go ahead and start and run it. Uh, so let me go view terminal. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to do npm install. And this will install all the dependencies. And once we install all the dependencies, uh, then we can immediately start running the application uh, on our local machine. Uh, so this is uh, fairly cool um, because uh, uh, with the the gap between local development and development in SAP Web IDE is uh, now uh, um, the, that gap has uh, is much uh, smaller now, um, so it's easier to use any IDE of your choice to do your development. And with this new UI5 tooling, uh, you can have uh, custom tasks as well. So for example, uh, in this UI5 YAML file, you can already see there is a custom task that proxies uh, your request to the Northwind service. So we don't need to create any kind of uh, a proxy.js file like we did a couple of sessions ago. So they're all taken care of here. Um, so I'll come back once uh, this is installed. And uh, OK, the install is now complete. So we can go ahead and start running it. So if I go into package.json file, uh, I see there is a script for npm start which says UI5 serve dash O index.html. So all I can do is uh, I can just say npm start. And that should uh, uh, 
uh, it should run UI5 serve dash O index.html and it has opened up uh, the browse orders application and we have a well, a decent application uh, for uh, right off the bat. Uh, so the template has created this application. And all we did was we just put order ID. So it shows the order ID. Uh, it has the count, the number of orders is 830. And uh, there is a detail page. Uh, so it has a flexible column layout. And all of this is working, I believe. Yeah, everything is working. Um, so we'll in the next session, we'll continue to expand on this uh, basic application. Um, and uh, that's it for now, folks.